Lesson 18. I'm hungry. Vocabulary for food. Breakfast. Hello, students. How are you today? Are you hungry? Today, we're going to talk about food. Now, first, we're going to talk about vocabulary for breakfast. Breakfast is the morning meal. Now, these are words for a North American breakfast. First, we have eggs. Eggs. Often, people eat fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. And some people eat bacon. Bacon. Some people eat sausages. Sausages. Or they make an omelet. Omelet. Many people eat cereal. Cereal. Some people eat yogurt. Yogurt. With fruit. Fruit. And many people eat toast. Toast. Okay? With the toast, they eat jam. Jam. Or honey. Honey. We drink juice. Juice. Coffee. Coffee. With milk milk or cream, cream and sugar, sugar. Okay? Now, again, we might eat eggs, fried potatoes, bacon, sausages, omelet, cereal, yogurt, fruit, toast, jam, Honey, juice, coffee, milk, cream, and sugar. Okay? Now, let's talk about breakfast. And I can tell you what I eat for breakfast, usually. And let me write it on the board for you. And you can look at it on the screen. Okay, now, this is what I eat for breakfast. This is what I eat for breakfast. I usually eat yogurt and fruit. I usually eat yogurt and fruit. I also eat toast with jam or honey. I also eat toast with jam or honey. Sometimes I eat eggs and toast. Sometimes I eat eggs and toast. On weekends I eat an omelette and toast. On weekends, I eat an omelette and toast. Okay, so this is what I eat for breakfast. I usually eat yogurt and fruit. I also eat toast with jam or honey. Sometimes I eat eggs and toast. And on weekends, I eat an omelette and toast. Okay? Now, let me ask you what you usually eat for breakfast. Let's start with Susan. Susan, what do you usually eat for breakfast? I usually eat eggs and toast. Do you drink coffee? No, I don't. I usually drink orange juice. Okay. Now, Isabel, tell us. Okay. I usually drink coffee with milk and I eat a croissant. It's kind of bread. I eat it with jam and butter. Sam, 
Sounds good. Okay, Ali, your turn. Uh, I usually eat cheese, eggs, some tomatoes, cucumber, and bread. I drink a lot of tea. Do you drink milk with your tea? No, only sugar. Okay. Well, our breakfasts are very different, but they're all very good. Okay, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. She eats eggs and toast for breakfast. He eats cereal and milk. They drink tea with sugar. We drink coffee with milk. You eat yogurt and fruit. Read and repeat. Vocabulary for food, lunch. Now, let's talk about lunch. Okay? Lunch is the meal in the middle of the day. All right? So here is what people often eat for lunch in North America. Okay. Bread. Bread. A sandwich. Sandwich with chicken, chicken, maybe ham, ham, beef, beef, cheese, cheese, mustard, mustard, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Uh, people maybe eat a hamburger. 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 Maybe they eat soup. Soup. Salad. Salad. With tomatoes. Tomatoes. Lettuce. Lettuce. Cucumber, cucumber, maybe onion, onion, water, water, cola, cola, maybe mineral water, mineral water, mineral water. Okay? Now, again, Bread, sandwich, chicken, ham, beef, cheese, mustard, mayonnaise, hamburger, soup, salad, tomatoes, lettuce, cucumber, onion, water, cola, mineral water. Okay, so these are some things that people for, eat for lunch. Now, I'll tell you about my normal lunch, and I'll write it on the board for you, and you can look at it on the screen. Okay, this is my normal lunch. This is my normal lunch. I eat a cheese sandwich and some salad. I eat a cheese sandwich and some salad. In the salad there is lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, 
and sometimes onion. Okay, so in the salad, there is lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and sometimes onion. I drink mineral water, and then I drink coffee or tea. I drink mineral water and then I drink coffee or tea. So again, this is my normal lunch. I eat a cheese sandwich and some salad. In the salad, there's lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and sometimes onion. And I drink mineral water and then I drink coffee or tea. Okay, now let's find out what our assistant's normal lunches are. And we'll start with Susan. So Susan, what do you usually eat for lunch? I usually eat chicken sandwich. There is lettuce and mayonnaise in it. I usually drink cola. Okay, Ali? I usually eat sandwich too. It's, I eat cheese and ham sandwich. Uh, it is beef ham, of course. I usually drink a yogurt drink, then I drink tea. Okay, great. And Isabel? I usually have soup and salad. The salad has lettuce, tomatoes, and a cucumber in it. I usually drink mineral water. Okay, very good lunches, everybody. Okay, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. We eat soup and a salad for lunch. They eat a cheese and ham sandwich with mustard. He drinks cola. Jack sometimes eats a hamburger with cheese and onion. Mary drinks mineral water. Read and repeat. Now, let's talk about dinner. Dinner is the evening meal. Okay, so words for dinner. Meat. Meat, this is the general group. Beef. Beef. Lamb. Lamb. Now remember, the B is silent. No sound, just lamb, okay? Chicken, chicken, fish, fish, potatoes, potatoes, rice, rice, peas, peas, Carrots, carrots, broccoli. Okay, then we have dessert. Ooh, it's the best part. Dessert, pie, pie, cake. Cake, ice cream, ice cream, and fruit, fruit, okay? So again, meat, beef, lamb, chicken, fish, potatoes, rice, peas, carrots, broccoli, dessert, pie, cake, ice cream, fruit. 
Now, there's more, but this is enough for today. Now, assistants, uh, before I ask you, I'll tell you what I usually eat for dinner. I usually have chicken, potatoes, and salad for dinner. Of course, I always have dessert. In summer, I eat ice cream, and in winter, I eat cake. Now, let's ask the assistants. Isabel, what do you usually eat for dinner? I usually eat chicken and a salad. Do you eat dessert? Sometimes. Susan, what do you eat? I sometimes eat fish, potatoes, and a salad. I rarely eat dessert. Okay, all right. Ali, what do you eat? I eat lamb, rice, and salad. I usually eat dessert too. Sounds good to me. All right, now again it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. For dinner, they eat lamb, rice, and salad. Susan usually eats chicken and salad. He often eats pork and beans. You never eat pork and beans. Read and repeat. Now we're going to put food into categories, groups, all right? Now, the first group that we can make is food, fruit, okay? Now, here's the food that goes into this group, apple, apple, orange, orange, strawberry, Strawberry, grape, grape, peach, peach, apricot, apricot, cherry, cherry, watermelon, watermelon, and melon. Okay, there's more, but this is enough. Okay, apple, orange, strawberry, grape, peach, apricot, cherry, watermelon, and melon. Okay, so that's some fruit. There's the fruit group. Now, another group is vegetables. Vegetables. Okay, now in this group we can put carrot, carrot, potato, potato, peas, peas, broccoli, broccoli, squash, squash, Tomato, tomato, cucumber, cucumber, onion, onion, lettuce, lettuce, and pepper, pepper. Okay, now again, there's more, but this is enough for today. Okay, so again, carrot, potato, peas, broccoli, squash, tomato, cucumber, onion, lettuce, and pepper. Okay, now here's a group that's called legumes. Legumes. 
These are usually dry. For example, dried beans, dried beans, lentils, lentils, and dried peas, dried peas. So again, dried beans, lentils, and dried peas. Usually these are for soup. Okay, another group is protein. Protein. Okay, now here we can put meat like beef, beef, lamb, lamb. Remember, this is silent. The B is silent. Pork, pork, chicken, chicken, fish, fish, and eggs, eggs. Okay, so again we have beef, lamb, pork, chicken, fish, and eggs in this group. Now, another group we can call bread. Bread. Okay, some people say carbohydrates, but bread is good. We have white bread, white bread, brown bread, brown bread, rolls, rolls, buns, buns, biscuits, biscuits. Now in North America, biscuits are bread, okay? And finally, crackers, crackers, okay? So again, we have white bread, brown bread, rolls, buns, biscuits, and crackers in this group. Now, another group is called dairy, dairy, okay? Now in this group, we have milk, milk, yogurt, yogurt, cheese, cheese, ice cream, ice cream. Okay, so again, milk, yogurt, cheese, and ice cream are in the dairy group. And finally, we have the oil group, oil. Here we have butter, butter, margarine, margarine, olive oil, olive oil, and sunflower oil, sunflower oil. Okay, and there's more, of course. So we have butter, margarine, olive oil, and sunflower oil. Okay, so here we go. Now, this one, this group is drinks. Drinks. Okay, drinks. Now, this has a lot, but today we'll look at milk, milk, cola, cola, soda, soda, pop, pop, okay, these are the same, soda and pop are the same, mineral water, mineral water, beer, beer, wine, wine, and fruit juice, fruit juice, and of course coffee or tea. So we have again milk, cola, soda, pop, mineral water, beer, wine, fruit juice, and coffee or tea. Okay, now my favorite, desserts. Mm -mm, desserts. Okay, here we have pie, pie, cake, cake, cookies, 
cookies, fruit, fruit, and ice cream. Ice cream. So again, pie, cake, cookies, fruit, and ice cream. Okay? Now, let's practice using these. And let me ask our assistant some questions, starting with Ali. Ali, what fruit do you like? I like cherries, peaches, and strawberries. Mm. Susan, what vegetables do you like? I like all vegetables. I like tomatoes and cucumbers a okay. lot. A lot, okay. Isabel, what desserts do you like? Mm, I love desserts. I like ice cream and cake. And what kinds of bread do you like? I like white bread, croissants and crackers. And Ali, what kind of milk products do you like? I like yogurt and cheese. And Susan, what kind of meat do you like? I don't like meat, but I like fish. Okay, that's great. Good. Count and non-count nouns. Now, we're going to talk about two groups of nouns. Now, here we go. This is important for English. There are two groups of nouns. There are countable, let's write nouns here, nouns. Countable and non-countable. Okay, some grammar books say uncountable. Okay, now, there's two groups. If something is countable, we can put an S on it. Okay? For example, one apple, two apples. However, some things cannot be counted. So, let's talk about the things that we can't count. All right, now, one group is liquids. Liquids. Okay, in this group, we have milk and milk products. So, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, etc. Okay, another one, cola, cola, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, beer, beer, wine, wine, and water. Okay? So these are liquids that we eat. All right? So milk, cola, tea, coffee, beer, wine, and water. No S. Okay? They're non-countable. Now, another group is powders or grains. Powders or grains. Now, here's some food in this group. Flour, flour, salt, salt, sugar, sugar, rice, rice, and pepper. This is black pepper, pepper, okay? Flour, salt, sugar, rice, pepper. No S. Okay, you can't count this. Flour, sugar, okay, you can't count them. All right, here's another one. Another group is meat. Meat. We have beef, beef, lamb, lamb, pork, pork, chicken, chicken, and fish, fish, okay? Beef, lamb, pork, chicken, fish. No S. Okay, now we can count kilos, pieces, or cups of these things. So, for example, we can say, let me write it over here, one kilo, of chicken. 
okay? Or two kilos, kilos of chicken. We can count the kilos, the S can go here, but not here, okay? So one kilo of chicken, one glass of milk, one glass of milk, or we could say two glasses of milk, but the S is here, not here. Another example, oops, I went ahead of myself, two kilos of flour, or one piece of bread. Or we could say two pieces of bread. Okay? So again, one kilo of chicken, one glass of milk, two kilos of flour, one piece of bread. So we can count this part, and the S's can go here, but not here. Okay? No S, no S, no S. All right, they are non-countable. Now, there are more groups, but for today, this is enough. Now, I want to talk about articles with these words. Now, we saw articles before, and I'll show you this beautiful chart. So, here we have, okay. General, general, and specific, specific, okay? General and specific. Now, across this way, we can have singular. Remember, singular is one. Plural is many, okay? Now, let's do these first. We have a book. General, a book. Specific, the book. The book. Plural, books. Books. Okay, books are countable. Books. All books. Specific, the books. The books. Okay, specific and plural. Now here we can put non-countable. Now, if you want to say something general, you just say, for example, water. Water. Okay? Now, if you're specific, the water. The water. General, specific. No, a, uh, never a, uh, never s for non-countable nouns, okay? No, a, uh, a, uh, no, s, no, okay, for non-countable nouns. Okay, now let me give you some examples to help you understand this. Now, we can say water is wet. This is general. Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. The water in my glass is cold. So this is general. This is specific. Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. Okay? There's one example. Here's another one. Flour is white. Okay? Flour is, we use it to make bread. All right? Flour is white. General. The flour in, oops, in the bread is white. The flour in the bread is white. Okay? General, flour is white. The flour in the bread is white. Okay? So this one is specific. And here's another example. Chicken is delicious. 
chicken is delicious. General, I like chicken. Chicken is delicious. Specific, the chicken in this salad is delicious. Okay? Delicious means you like it. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Anyway, okay? There. Yummy. Okay? So chicken is delicious. General. The chicken in this salad is delicious. Specific. Also, notice that the verbs are singular. Okay? Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. Flour is white. The flour in the bread is white. Chicken is delicious. The chicken in this salad is delicious. Okay? So, no a, uh, no s, and singular. Okay. Now, let's practice. Okay, now let me ask you some questions, starting with Isabel. Isabel, do you like milk? Yes, I do. Do you like the milk from a sheep? I don't know. Do you like the milk from the market? Yes, I do. Good. Please buy a liter of milk tonight. Now, Susan, do you like eggs? Yes, I do. Do you like the eggs from a chicken? Yes, I do. Do you like the eggs from a fish? Yuck. No, I don't. No, I don't either. Ugh. Okay, Ollie, it's your turn. Do you like yogurt? Yes, I do. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Do you like the ice cream from the market? Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Now, you asked Susan about some food. Susan, <clears throat> do you like beef? Yes, I do. Do you like hamburgers? Yes, I do, but I like hamburgers at home. Okay. Now, Susan, you ask Isabel. Isabel, do you like cupcake? Oh, yes. Do you put sugar and milk in it? Yes, I do. I sometimes put hot milk in it. That's very good. Very good. Thank you. Are you getting hungry? Are you getting hungry? Okay. Now, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Tea is good. The tea in my glass is sweet. Fish is good. The fish from Canada is good. Rice is white. The rice on my plate is white. Read and repeat. Okay, now we're going to practice with some real food. We're going to have a cooking lesson. But before that, we're going to have grammar. So first I want to talk about these words. Some, any, a lot of, many, and a few. And much and a little. Let's put these both here. Any and some. Okay, now we can use these words with countable nouns. And remember, those are the ones that have S. And we can use these with non-countable nouns. Okay, and remember, the S is forbidden. Okay? Now, we looked at these before. Some, any, and remember, any is with negative or questions. A lot of, many, a few. 
three or four. Some, any, a lot of, much for non-countable, and a little. Okay? So if you look at the chart on your screen, here are some examples. So, some, some apples, some, some water. And then we can see any, any apples, any, any water. Next we have a lot of, a lot of apples, a lot of, a lot of water. Now these two are different, many, many apples, or much, much water. And then finally we have a few, a few apples, or for non-count, a little, a little water. Okay? Now remember that any is used only for questions and negatives, and let's look at some examples. So you can see the difference. Now, here we go. I have some apples. I have some apples. Do you have some apples? Do you have some apples? Do you have any apples? Do you have any apples? Okay, this is a question. I don't have any apples. Here's negative. I don't have any apples. Or, I have a few apples. I have a few apples, three or four. I have a lot of apples. I have a lot of apples. I have many apples. I have many apples. Okay, these are the same. A lot of and many are the same. In North America, we use this more. Okay, now, here's another example. And this time we'll use non-count. So, I have some water. I have some water. Okay? Question. Do you have some water? Do you have some water? Or, do you have any water? Do you have any water? Remember, any can go in a question. I don't have any water. This one's negative. I don't have any water. I have a little water. I have a little water. I have a lot of water. I have a lot of water. I have much water. I have much water. Now, we don't use this one very much, but we use this one more. I have a lot of water, okay? But maybe you'll see this. Now, we're going to have a cooking lesson with real food. And let me take these to our assistants because they're going to cook. All right, one for Ali. And let's see if I can do two for one. One for Isabel. Thank you. And one for Susan. Thank you. Okay. Now, I will stand here and ask you questions. Now, look in the boxes and let me ask you, Ali, do you have any salt? Um, no, I don't have any salt. 
Do you have any pepper? No, I don't have any pepper. Isabel, do you have any oranges? Yes, I have some oranges. How many oranges do you have? I have two oranges. Okay. Now, Susan, do you have any eggs? I have five eggs. Okay. Do you have any milk? Yes, I have some milk. How much milk do you have? I have a liter of milk. Okay. Now, Ali, do you have any bread? Yes, I have some bread. Do you have a lot of bread? I have some. Okay. Do you have any cheese? Mm. Yes, I have some cheese. Okay, all right. Do you have any mustard? Yes, I have some mustard. All right. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to tell them to make lunch, but I want you to remember how we used imperatives. Now, imperatives tell someone what to do. I'm going to tell them how to make lunch. Okay, now, first we'll start with Ali. Ali, put the bread on the desk. Oh, you put the bread on the desk. Okay, take some bread and put on some mustard. Do you have a knife? Yes. You don't want to use your finger. Okay. Put on some mustard. Oh, very good. Now, put some cheese on the bread. Okay, one more. One more. Okay, one more piece of cheese. Okay, now, close it. And what do you have now? I have a sandwich. Yeah, hold it up so we can see it. Yes, a very good Ali cheese sandwich. All right, okay, now, Susan, you have a bowl? Yeah. Okay, all right, you need the bowl. Okay, now, why don't you move the box so we can see the bowl, all right? Okay, now, put two eggs Open the eggs, crack the eggs, okay, one, okay, one more, another egg. She's an expert. <laughs> okay, now, add some milk, put in some milk, a little bit, there we go, okay, all right. Now, stir it. All right, is it ready? Yeah. Okay, now we have an omelet, kind of, <laughs> later. All right, okay, Isabel, you're making dessert. Now, take one orange. Okay. And cut the orange, peel the orange. You're going to peel it. There, you can cut it first. There. Okay, peel the orange. Finish peeling that orange. Ooh, it smells really good. And she's getting juice on her hands. All right. And now we have pieces of an orange. Yay, there's dessert. Okay, Ali has made a wonderful cheese sandwich with mustard. And Isabel has made an orange dessert. Thank you, gourmet cooks. We will eat later. And now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. There is some sugar in ice cream. There isn't any sugar in yogurt. Do you have any eggs? I have a lot of eggs. She has some bread. She has a piece of cheese. Read and repeat.
you. Now, let's do some review. With the help of the assistants. Ready? Okay, now, Isabel, do you like salads? Yes, I do. What do you put in a salad? In my salad, I put uh, lettuce, uh, tomatoes, cucumber, and sometimes onions. Okay, sounds good. All right, Ali, do you like hamburgers? Yes, I do. How do you make a hamburger? Mm, first, I cook some beef. Then I take the bun. Sometimes I warm the bun. Then I put some mustard and some ketchup on the bun. Then I put the beef on the bun. Then I put some tomato slices and some onion. Then I eat it. All right, sounds good. Okay, Susan, it's your turn. Do you like cake? Yes. I mix flour, butter, sugar, soda, and sometimes chocolate. I put it in the oven and then I eat it. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much. And now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Listen and write these words. Number one, tomato, tomato. Number two, bread, bread. Number three, yogurt, yogurt. Number four, coffee, coffee. Number five, sugar, sugar. Number six, cheese, cheese. Number seven, lettuce, lettuce. Number eight, cherry, cherry. Number nine, Melon, melon. Number 10, flower, flower. Now, check your work. Number one, tomato. Number two, bread. Number three, yogurt. Number four, coffee. Number five, sugar. Number six, cheese. Number seven, lettuce. Number eight, cherry. Number nine, melon. Number 10, flour. Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one. Susan often puts some onion in her salad. Susan often puts some onion in her salad. Number two, Isabel eats cake and ice cream every day. Isabel eats cake and ice cream every day. Number three, Ali eats a hamburger every week. Ali eats a hamburger every week. Number four, is there any milk in a hamburger? Is there any milk in a hamburger? Number five. We are eating fish, salad, and bread for dinner tonight. We are eating fish, salad, and bread for dinner tonight. 
Now check your work. Number one. Susan often puts some onion in her salad. Number two. Isabel eats cake and ice cream every day. Number three. Ali eats a hamburger every week. Number four. Is there any milk in a hamburger? Number five. We are eating fish, salad, and bread for dinner tonight. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Tim works in a restaurant in Chicago. He cooks every day. For breakfast, he makes omelets with eggs and cheese. Sometimes he cooks bacon, eggs, and toast. He works a lot at lunch. He makes very good hamburgers with beef, buns, tomatoes, and onions. Mustard and ketchup are on the tables in the restaurant. Tim also makes sandwiches. He usually uses chicken, beef, or cheese in some nice white bread. He makes a very good salad, too, with lettuce, tomato, onion, cucumber, and chicken. Tim doesn't work in the evening, but he cooks at home sometimes for his friends. Then he makes special dinners. No hamburgers or omelets. He also doesn't make dessert, but his girlfriend makes cakes or pies. She makes a good apple pie. Tim and his girlfriend like to eat, but they are not fat. After a good dinner, they walk and talk about food. Now answer the questions. Number one. Where does Tim work? Where does Tim work? Number two. What does he make for breakfast? What does he make for breakfast? Number three. Does he cook hamburgers for lunch? Does he cook hamburgers for lunch? Number four. Where are the mustard and ketchup? Where are the mustard and ketchup? Number five. Does he work in the evenings? Does he work in the evenings? Number six. Does he always cook at home? Does he always cook at home? Number seven. What does his girlfriend make? What does his girlfriend make? Number eight. Do they like to eat? Do they like to eat? Number nine. Are they fat? Are they fat? Number ten. What do they do after dinner? What do they do after dinner? Now, check your work. Number one. Where does Tim work? He works in a restaurant in Chicago. Number two. What does he make for breakfast? He makes omelets with eggs and cheese or eggs, bacon, and toast. Number three, does he cook hamburgers for lunch? Yes, he does. Number four, where are the mustard and ketchup? They are on the tables. Number five, does he work in the evenings? No, he doesn't. Number six, 
Does he always cook at home? No, he doesn't. Number seven. What does his girlfriend make? She makes cakes or pies. Number eight. Do they like to eat? Yes, they do. Number nine. Are they fat? No, they aren't. Number ten. What do they do after dinner? They walk and talk about food. All right, good job. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. Okay, everyone, let's get those pizzas ordered. Oh, I love pizza for lunch. Oh, me too. I love pizza. I ate pizza a lot back in Greece too. What do you like on your pizzas? I like pepperoni and lots of cheese. I like black olives and green peppers. Pepperoni and sausage for me. I like everything: sausage, pepperoni, green peppers, black olives, onions, ham, pineapple, even anchovies. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to order at least three pizzas. Michael will order them, and we'll go get them. Keep painting, everyone. What do you usually have for breakfast, Alexi? My mom often makes eggs with tomatoes and peppers. I also have toast with jelly, and I have some juice as well. My dad makes breakfast on Saturdays, so we often have pancakes with syrup. He makes delicious blueberry muffins. We have fresh bagels a lot too. Wow, my roommates are on a diet. We usually have fresh fruit, cheese, and orange juice. I'm getting really hungry now. Michael, this is great. This pizza is delicious. How many pizzas did you get? We bought four. Hello, hello. Hey, Mike. It's Nick. I want to play basketball today. Can you play? Sorry, Nick.、Uh, I'm at my friend Monica's apartment right now. She and her cousin Angie and three of her friends are having a painting party. A what? A painting party. You know, a bunch of friends get together and paint their friend's house. We're listening to music and talking and eating pizza right now. Well, if I can't play basketball, can I come over and join the painting party? Sure, I guess so. Monica, can my friend Nick come over and paint with us this afternoon? Sure, we could use the help. Nick, meet me at the cafe. I can be there in five minutes, and I'll bring you to Monica's. Great, see you. Bye. This is delicious pizza, don't you think? Here we are, me and my six friends. The furniture is all moved, and the room will be painted in a few more hours. Uh oh, I got paint on my arm. Yeah, you do have a pink glob right there, but don't worry. I've got some of my cheek, and it'll wash off with some soap and hot water. Hey, everyone! I'm really amazed at how quickly we painted this room. It looks really great, too. Yes, I think the color is really nice. Yeah, we've got a lot done. Ugh, but I think the paint smell is making me ill. The air in here is really bad, and we've been painting all day. I have a great idea. Since everyone has been so nice to me and painted all day, why don't I take us all out to dinner? Cousin, there are seven of us. You saw how Sam and Jack eat. Do you really want to take us all out for dinner? Yes. Well, Michael was kind enough to buy us four pizzas for lunch, so it's my turn to say thank you. What would everyone like for dinner? I want Chinese food, chicken and black bean sauce. Hmm. What about that Greek place on the corner? I haven't had Greek food in a long time. Or we could try something different—a kebab house. You know the place on the corner? We can go there. 
For dinner, I like Spanish food. Vaila and tapas would be great, but we can't find them in Istanbul. Hmm. Pizza for lunch was easy compared to all these choices. I think that I will pick. Mm.